Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to compare Carolina Herrera Very Good Girl to the original Good Girl. So here are the both bottles. The design of the bottle is stunning. I'm obsessed with how these bottles look like. So the Very Good Girl compared to the other one has this double layer of glass and the red color is kind of in the inside layer of it and I'm not gonna lie I find this color a little bit too bright and I prefer this one but they are both really really nice it's really a unique design of the bottle that you can uh, really not find anywhere which always makes me think that this would make a great present for someone just based on the bottle and the fragrance in it in both of these is really nice so let's start with the newest one this is a very feminine fragrance the original one is feminine too but this can turn a little bit masculine but this is truly only feminine girly and fun fragrance so with initial spray like first two three seconds i can smell some fruit and then it kind of barely reminds me of the original one but then they are completely different these are two completely different fragrances so this is a fruity mix with a rose in the heart in the beginning very good girl has a little bit of dustiness of the original fragrance and that's probably coming from the vanilla or the vetiver that's in the base of this fragrance you can smell tons of red berries and rose note which is really nicely done in a very good girl it's a creamy cozy flirty rose scent the original good girl is more like a white flower scent and there's some citruses it's fresh but it's gourmand at the same time there is this note of cacao the original good girl is more like a dark dusty more seductive well very good girl is more like a daytime fragrance and you can wear it throughout the whole year too but maybe it's a little bit more suitable for spring or summer because it's so fresh and girly and fun and between these two fragrances the good girl the original good girl is more of a nighttime fragrance compared to very good girl which is lighter and fruitier in my opinion these two fragrances have nothing in common or at least not much in terms of performance I find the original good girl uh, more projecting and more long-lasting very good girl lasts a long time on my skin I can smell it on my wrist throughout the day but I cannot really smell it around me so it's more like close to the skin scent while the original good girl is more bold more loud it's a head turner it will get you compliments and a very good girl it will get you tons of compliments too but someone has to get really close to you in order to smell it my personal favorite between the two is very good girl but what i think with this fragrance you have to give it a chance to develop fully when you test it i really like how very good girl smells it's a really nice fruity fragrance with lychee and the red currant and tons of creamy rose that creaminess is so nice in it while the original good girl is more dark and definitely not something you would want to wear at work but I gotta say still the original good girl has a better performance and both of these fragrances will get you a lot of compliments people in general react well to both of these fragrances when I was wearing them and testing them at the same time not gonna lie I could smell good girl projecting a lot more it took over but still very good girl is such a nice scent I kind of was surprised I didn't expect that I expected something more similar to the original one but I was pleasantly surprised and I really like it and been wearing it like the last couple of days should you own a very good girl if you already have good girl I would say yes because they are not similar fragrances and if you want something feminine and girly with the rose which is really creamy and nicely done and a little bit of fruit and fresh then definitely check it out and test it that's all for this video thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next videos bye